Today, I'm excited to show you something really important involving adding numbers. But before going deeper into math, let's think about presents and Legos. Imagine this. As a birthday present, your best friend received a 155-piece Lego set. You have a similar one at home, but your set has 179 pieces. Now, there's a robot you want to build that needs 350 pieces, and you're trying to figure out if together both of you have enough Lego pieces. In order to know if you have enough Lego pieces to build the robot, you're going to have to add 155 to 179. Okay, let's do this using the traditional addition algorithm. An algorithm, it's just a fancy word that means a set of rules you need to follow in order to solve something. The first step is to place one number over the other. It doesn't matter which addend is first, but make sure you line up the place value correctly when you set up the problem. Ones with ones place, tens with tens place, and hundreds with hundreds place. When you add the numbers, it's your task to line up the number places just as I did. The ones place of the number on top, 5, is directly over the ones place of the number beneath it, 9. Now, once you've aligned the ones places, you've done the hardest part. Just make sure all the other number places are aligned as well. Tens, hundreds, thousands, if any, and so on. This will avoid any mistakes when you're adding. Draw the line right here. Add the addition sign. Wow! Now you're ready for step two. The real calculations. You always start with the ones place. This is the first to be added. So, to help you remember, go from the right to the left. In the ones place, you have 5 plus 9, which is 14. But 14 is a two-digit number, and there is only one place for the ones in your answer. The magic that you need here is called regrouping. Regrouping means that we can rearrange groups and place value. It's a really important technique you use quite often with addition problems. As 5 plus 9 equals 14, this means that you can't put all 14 ones in the ones place when adding. Regrouping allows you to change the 14 ones into 110 and 4 ones. You will write the 4 as the ones place of the solution and move the 1 into the tens place above the addends. Now that you've added the ones place, you can move on to the tens place. In the tens place, I know 5 tens plus 7 tens equals 12 tens. I need to remember to add the one extra 10. We have it here above. This equals 13 tens. Now I have the same situation as the ones place. 13 is a two-digit number, and so you need to regroup the place value one more time. 13 tens you present as a 103 tens. Write down 3 in the tens place of the solution, and write 100 above the addends hundreds place. 100 plus 100 plus this 100 here above is equal to 3 hundreds. As 3 is less than 10, I don't need to regroup. No more digits in the place. We did it! Now, there's great news and there's bad news. The great news is that we found the answer, but the bad news is the answer. 155 plus 179 is 334. Together, you and your friend have only 334 Lego pieces, which isn't enough to build that 350-piece robot according to your plans. Well, don't worry. I bet you'll find a creative solution to build the robot. You know what the really great news is, though? You've just learned how to add three-digit numbers using the traditional algorithm, and you know how to regroup the place value. First, you align the add-ins by place value. Then you start from the ones and work to the left. If a digit needs to be regrouped, you mark it carefully. Now let's practice together with a few more problems in the next lesson.